Hello everybody and welcome back to some XCOM 2. Um, last time we actually ended up getting wiped out. So, let's see if we could start making a recovery this mission. We're left with a ranger, a grenadier, and a sharpshooter. So as long as the mission doesn't start for one day, we'll at least have three semi-trained troops. Uh, the grenadier and sharpshooter are high level at least. So, let's see, anything I want to do before we start the mission? Uh, we don't really have any supplies, so I guess we just get into it. See what we got. Um, we probably just want supplies at this point. So I say we go and grab these. Alright, our sniper has recovered. We got those supplies. Now I think we'd like to set this up here. Try to increase our income a little bit more. So us up for later if we can get that far. Commander, we want to set back the alien's work on the Avatar project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Long live the resistance. Alright, so we got some income there. Now I suppose... We can't make contact yet. We could discover the black site. We don't really have the supplies to do anything there, but... Might as well grab that really quick before we take care of this event over here and start moving along with the game. Alright, we got the Gauss weapons, that's good. So we just need the necessary supplies to buy those two weapons. And I think... We would love to get the armor up and running next. There's a lot of really quick things here though, so I say we start running through those. From my own experience. Alright, another avatar project tick. We're gonna have to start progressing soon. Alright, we got a retaliation mission. For the Australian sector. Let's see what we can do. So we got our ranger, our grenadier, our sharpshooter, and two rookies. It's pretty much as much as we could hope for. Um, do we have that med kit, or do we lose that when they die? We might have just lost it. Go through these really quick. So we didn't have enough supplies left to buy their upgraded weapons, so we are stuck with what we got here. The rookies have the mag rifles at least, so that's good. Let's check this one more time. Yeah, I guess we lost the med kit when we wiped. I've never actually wiped before, so I didn't know that was the thing. Let's see what happens. So if this mission goes well, we might be able to make a recovery. Uh, if we lose anybody on this mission, we're going to be in really, really rough shape. So let's see what we can do. Hopefully we have good luck with the civilians. This last time was a little bit rough. Alright, well that looks promising. We got two right here. Alright, so let's start by grabbing this guy. You're clear. Go. 
Hey, we popped a squad right away. That's a, not a bad shot, actually. So let's see what we got for everyone else. Um, as far as cover, while still having a shot on these guys, we don't have a whole lot available right now, it looks like. I think if we want to be able to take shots, we're going to be behind half cover. So that might just be a risk we need to take. Well, I think this guy's going to take this shot pretty much no matter what. Um, maybe you can blow up the mutons cover? You can. Okay, so you might do that instead. Let us grab the grenadier. Where are you at? Here. I want to bring you up here and see if they might both be in range for one grenade. Because we'll do that instead if possible. Uh, looks like just barely miss them. Hmm. You could hit this. We could hit him and still hit the Mutons cover. I think hitting the Muton is pretty important though. Alright, I mean we don't need to use the grenade on this guy. We could just shoot with him and use the grenade on the sniper. So let's see, our ranger is actually in range for a slash, so if I can get the pistol shot off, then he should be able to just slash him. So then it's just a matter of that guy over there, oh wait, I'm not taking the pistol shot, that's right. Let us lead with the grenade, and see what this gives. So we did shred an armor, that's good. Let's take a rookie up here. I want to make sure he's going to have a shot. Looks like he will. It's only 58, really? And these guys are not good. Fifty-six. Kind of like the idea of coming down here. Well, let's try and just guarantee the kill on him and put everyone else we can afford to on Overwatch. So what do we got? We got the Ranger and this guy. Let's actually see what your shot is. You have a little bit better. It's still not great though. I don't know if it's worth taking. You could also demolish this guy's cover. And then we should be able to finish him off without problems. Let's go that route. So you... Really, it's still only 59. Is this cover? Oh, we didn't blow this up. Hmm. So if you go slash this, you can be behind cover here. I'm gonna go for that. We got two rookies. I think I just want to guarantee this kill. And the other one will go on Overwatch. Hope for the best. I wonder how much of a role this lower elevation is playing on our aim penalty. It like feels insignificant, but 58%, 60% is really low shots considering they were no, behind no cover. That's not good. Oh, 
8 damage. Uh, he's dead. Good start. So you can get right up close here. Well, with that kind of luck, what can we do? I mean... Uh, up to you, I guess. I might just mob this guy right now. Seems doable. <laughs> At this point I feel like I'm kinda desperate. Heading to that location. Let's see what our shots are like. Sixty and eighty-seven. So eighty seven we'll just take. So we kill this, we're good. Um, do I want to go on Overwatch or just shoot? I think Overwatch has a worse chance of hitting, so... Alright, we got it. Losing the Ranger definitely hurts. Especially in the first freaking pod. nothing else now we're just have to deal with being down a man so let us get this guy and it's three we can grab route four we can grab right here that's really good for us so let's start moving this way more guys we can get in the near future the better Location confirmed. I'm going. all right you're gonna have to reload so you can't move quite as far but that's fine Hmm, I was hoping we could rescue these four people without popping this pod. Alright, how do I want to do this? Got two little grunts and a sectoid. Probably got a great grenade off with this guy. Is there any full cover to move on? Not aside from back here. So I think we're just gonna go from here, see what we can do. We can hit two. So let's go for it. Alright, it's a start. Let's get up here with the squaddy. You're still behind cover apparently. Alright, let's try and take that guy out. Good. Target eliminated. Now you... Do you have a shot from here? No. 
kick up on the roof with you, but that's an awful idea. What about you? Can I get you somewhere where you have a shot? Right here. I'm going. Let's try it. You only have a pistol though. 80%. That's pretty good. Nice. Very nice. Great shot. Alright. Uh, on the off chance, the very small chance that that guy's a blob guy or whatever, I'm actually just going to move up here and reload and not pop him until I get movements back. Alright, that guy's running away. Alright, so you... Oh wow, we got a bunch of people right here. Let us go... On the move. Here. I gotcha, go. Good, so far. So these are the last three we need to rescue. Oh, we can see this guy here. You don't have much of a shot. I don't really like our position as far as cover is concerned, though. What about you? You not have a shot? You do up here. So let's go there and go on Overwatch. You, let's go up here. I really don't care about that equipment. You might be able to just go rescue the next guy, but again, it's the blob people we'd have to deal with. You have a shot from back here? You do. It's a little bit better cover, I think. And you can just start catching up. Alright, so everybody is buying full cover. Ah, there we go. Found him. Oh man, that's not great. Is he gonna take the shot? He is. Ouch! He hit both of them and destroyed the cover. And panicked. Uh, we got a civilian out of the deal, I guess. And she's behind full cover. Uh, she missed. At least she's behind cover, I guess. You got a 60% chance to just snipe him right now. You need to get behind cover. Moving to designated coordinates. Uh, now shoot him. Alright, 76% miss. Sounds reasonable. How about 82%? Better. And you... Is it better to take 58% chance with the sniper or to move and go for the pistol shot? What is the damage on the pistol? 2 to 3. So you'd have to crit. The crit percentage is 0, I guess. What the heck does this mean? Oh, is this just a joke in the mod? I could see that. Fifty-one <laughs> percent, probably. I guess we had a huge penalty for being close with the sniper. We might just not be able to kill him. Hmm. Ten percent crit. Four to six. So if this hits, he's dead. It's 50-50. If it doesn't hit, I probably will use another unit. Hmm. 
And this guy's probably dead if he misses. Or this guy. But I mean, I think you're dead anyways. If you take the pistol shot and it doesn't kill, so I think I'm just gonna go for it. Yep. Alright, see what happens. You just heal? I didn't know they healed. Alright, well, if you're gonna swing at the full health guy, I guess that's the best outcome I could hope for. And missed. Okay. So let's try one more time. Wow! Another 80% miss. Eighty-seven percent? Thank you. And you should be able to get over here and get the kill with your pistol. Hundred percent? Thank you. Okay. So we didn't lose anyone at least. I get this guy, but I can't really be behind cover. I'll just take a second move. Alright. See what they got. I think for this mission, I'm really just gonna try and bum rush one of these guys up here. If I can get the six person rescued then try and bail on the mission. Because I don't really like my odds of uh, getting another pod. Alright, what can I do here? Can get to this guy and be behind full cover? No. Dude, I think you're dead. I could just pull back, but... What is your shot? Just 228, you can't even see the other guys. You have to reload. It's killing time. And 20%. And you can't even see them. Could move you up here. Flank shot's pretty good. Grenade. Come on, can I get that guy? One more. Oh, man, one tile short. I think I gotta go for this. As good as it's gonna get. Let's see if that improves your shot. It does. Let's take that. Nope, rookies can't hit 70% shots. Sniper. Let's take that. At least one guy could do his job. And you. You could probably just get that kill with your grenade. You do that and hit someone's cover. Not quite. Alright, well let's get the guaranteed kill. We'll only take shots from two people and just hope to god this rookie doesn't die in the process. Let's hope they have covers enough. It's not what I wanted to see.
Alright. That's not too bad. Oh, don't kill that one. I need that one. Shit. Alright, so now we got no choice but to clear this pod. Including the faceless. Who can apparently run forever. What do we got for shots? 46, 66. Can I move up at all? Hmm. Well, I think you pretty clearly you need to move back behind full cover. This guy's gonna be able to flank you no matter what. Maybe back here. I like that. Alright, so let's get... Well, then that guy's gonna be able to flank you. What's my sniper got for shots? 62 and 70. You can't even see the faceless guy? Are you kidding me? He's right in front of you. Let's take that, I guess. Alright. So maybe you can actually kill this guy. The thing is, I think the faceless has to die here, or we're gonna have a rough time. Seems doable. He's gonna be able to kill someone. you don't have the flank shot, I guess this guy has half cover on that side too. So a 70% chance to just get a kill here is pretty good. You can move up here now. 47, 67. Alright, let's take this and see what happens. 5 damage. Which puts him at... Five health. So if this guy can finish him off, and the heavy can finish off this guy, and we only have one dude left, I think that's about the best I could hope for right now. Seventy nine is looking pretty good. All right, nice. And can you come through in the rear? Perfect. Alright, we dodged what we had to dodge. You have to reload. I think we're just gonna have you do that. Let's do this. Can I get in a position for this sh shot with the flank? Maybe here? Can't really tell. Yes, alright, let's take it. Got him. Guess that was the last pod, so we ended up going through them all after all. Alright, so we lost a unit, we got two wounded, but we did complete the mission. We didn't wipe, so I guess we got that going for us. We lost one of our upgraded units, but one of the rookies is going to replace them. It's not perfect, but the campaign survives, I guess. Might have to purchase some more rookies in case people don't recover from their injuries before our next mission. Alright. I really hope this uh, rookie that just got promoted becomes another Grenadier. I really feel more comfortable having two of them per mission. Getting 
thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Low supplies, you don't say. Oh, we can't even recruit right now. So if we can go five days before the next mission pops, we'll have enough. Granted, this person has the weakened wheel or whatever, I think. It's another sharpshooter. Well, it's not the worst. And you... I granted you. Alright, good. But you're the gravely injured one. So we're not going to see you for a while. Alright, I mean, we just got to hope we can go five days without a mission, I guess. Actually, what we can do is we can... Do the scanning. Not now. If we scan, yeah, at our HQ, we have to heal faster thing. So I think we pretty much have no choice but to do that. Because we just can't afford to have another mission in five days. But uh, yeah, guess that'll wrap this episode up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.